In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on using the parallel mask that is introduced in PowerDirector version 19 or 365. We'd like to show you a clip where we illustrate how it might be used in a certain application, and then we'll show you some tips on using the parallel mask. First thing I want to do is take my clip of the board meeting and drag and drop that onto track number one. Now I'm going to take my waterfall video and put it on track two, but I want to control some timing. So let me give you a, an extra tip not related to masks that you might find helpful. What I'd like to do is I'd like to start my second video exactly one second in. And I want to start my title exactly two seconds in. Now I can manually move my time indicator to do that, but here's a very simple way to get it precise easily. You normally have this Seek By option below the preview screen. That allows you to move when you click the arrow with the line right one frame at a time. And you notice with my key code, I moved one frame. Or I click the other way and I can move left one frame. You can also readjust that to match other kinds of times. For example, if I click down on it, I have all these options. Let's change that, for this case, into second. Now, when I click here or move the, click it by moving the period key or the icon here, it will move exactly one second in. You see, we see that in our time code. So I'm going to right click and then I'll set add timeline marker. It gives me an option of putting a description in there. I often don't use them, but if you want to, you can. I can put second video here and click OK. Now I'm going to click again, or I can press the period key since I'm going to the right. Now I'm in exactly two seconds. I'll right click again, add timeline marker. That's where I want my title. I won't name it this time. I'll just click on the OK button. So it's a very easy way to precisely set timeline markers using this tool. Now, if you notice, when I drop down, I do have my title beginning exactly at two seconds. We won't deal with that part of this example in this particular video. But I want to take my first video, my waterfall video, and drag it and drop it down to track number two. And I'll lock it in and there it is locked in at one second. Now I'm going to use my parallel mask. With the second video highlighted, I'm going to click on the Tools button above the timeline. Then I'll click on Mask Designer. That gets me into my Mask Designer, and because I'm using PowerDirector 19 or 365, I have this icon below the black box with the blue X, which is my parallel mask. I simply click on it, I don't drag it, and it inserts a mask on that second clip. We see the track one behind it, and it's at an angle. Now the easiest way to adjust it is simply by taking the mouse, and you can rotate it, and now I have it exactly where I want it. We are going to control the width of this, because the mask doesn't do much for you unless you keyframe it. We're going to do that in this exercise. Now my keyframe controls are hidden because I collapse them. If I click on the little blue arrow in the lower right corner, I'll make them visible. Now I have my keyframe controls. What I'd like to do is I'd like the mask to be this size one second into the project, which will be exactly the same place where the title starts because we're already in a second. That's where we moved our second clip. So I'm going to have the scale value at one second in to this particular video set. So I click on the diamond on scale value with my playhead in one second, and now I've set it. Let's say we want it to be this way for, oh, maybe a third of the length of the video. So I'll move my time indicator here, 
and I'll click the diamond again and so I know between these two locations the mask will be this scale. I'm going to move back to the beginning by dragging the playhead to the left and then I'm going to change the scale we start out with. I'm going to collapse it. So to do that I take the mouse, I move it over the white ball till it becomes a double arrow and I drag up and it will collapse that mask. So it's collapsed here, it expands to my second keyframe and stays that way. Now later on I want it to fill the screen so I'm going to move over maybe another roughly third of the way in the video and I'm, now I'm going to go back there and use the same mouse action on the white ball and drag down and now we have the entire waterfall unmasked and so that's the full size and so if we play this you see my title showing through it expands the title comes in because that's set to one second and then it goes and fills the screen I'll click on OK because I like that and then what I've also done is I've modified the title, I've added a music track below it, we've done some other kinds of things to accomplish what you see in the video that you saw as the example. But that's one of the ways in which you can use this particular feature in order to use a parallel mask effect to create something rather special in CyberLink PowerDirector.